Hello, students. Good evening. How are you today? Good evening. Good evening. How are you? <clears throat> Hello, good evening. Hello, how are you? How are you? Fine, thank you, teacher. Okay, I'm great, Maggie. Good. Okay, how are you, Saul? Uh, what? <laughs> uh, I'm asking for Saul. How are you? Oh, how are you, teacher? I'm great. Ready for today's class, students? Yes. yes. Okay, very good. Okay, okay, we're gonna start in a minute. How are you, Jocelyn? Teacher. Fine. <laughs> okay, great. Yes, tell me so. Um, thank you, uh, section uh, one. Uno, uno, uh, one. One point ten. Okay, you're welcome, Saul. Uh, section uh, two. Yes. Uh, finish. Ah, okay, that's good. Congratulations. Very nice. Okay. Remember and keep in mind if you need my help, you can ask me about the exercise, right? I'm gonna be here for you in order to help you. Okay, <clears throat> we're gonna start with today's class, students. Uh, Saba, how are you? I'm fine, teacher, and you? I'm great, cool. <laughs> okay, nice. Okay. We got Carla, Carla Maña, Carla Gatames, Lisbeth, Leida, and Mary. Okay, students, here we go. We're gonna start with today's class. Please turn on your webcam. Don't be shy. <laughs> Remember that if you practice, you can be able to express your idea in an easy way. Okay, let's start with today's class, students. <clears throat> okay, we have this. Okay, did you remember the daily routine? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, yes. very good. Okay, what is this? Get up. I, I get up. Okay, very good. I get up. Es que yo me levanto, right? Okay. What about this? Take a shower. Take a shower. Take a shower, very good. This one? I get dressed. I I dress it. I get dressed. I get dressed. Very good. What about this one? Um, I have, have a breakfast. Breakfast. Okay. Have breakfast. Very good. This one? Go to work. I, I go to work. Hey, nice. Good job. What about this one? I start work. Start start work work at, at, uh, night. at night. At night, right? Okay, very good. This one? We have, have a lunch. 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 Okay, we have a lunch. That's good. This one is more happy. Finish work. Finish work. Okay. Finish work. okay. I arrive I arrive at home. Okay, very good, Maggie. I arrive home. I arrive at home. I arrive at home. Okay, I have dinner. I have dinner. I have a dinner. Okay, very good. This one? Watch, watch TV. TV. Okay, I watch watch TV. TV. I go to bed. I, I go to bed. I go to bed, right? Very good. Okay, students, uh, just some tips, right? We gotta have breakfast, lunch, and I have dinner. Three meals that we gonna have during the day. Okay. Sure. Uno. Uh, eat. Yep. Is a diner or, or dinner? Dinner. 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 Okay. Yes. Yeah, very good. Okay, students, uh, breakfast, desayuno, lunch, almuerzo, almuerzo, cena. Dinner, okay. Cena. Okay. Cena. 
eh, normalmente el lunch es algo rapidito, eh, un emparedado, algo así rápido para continuar trabajando. El breakfast es más heavy y el dinner uh, a little bit light, un poco así liviano. Pero nosotros como somos buenos ahí, Salvador, <risa> tipo, el lunch es el más abundante. Cholotón. Yeah, sure. <laughs> That's good. Uh -huh. Okay, students. Did you remember that the last class eh, me hacían falta unos que dijeran la daily routines? ¿Sí? Yes. yes. Veamos quién hacía falta. Yo, teacher. Okay, vamos, dispatch. Tell me your daily routine. Bye. My daily routine, I grab at uh, 9 p.m. 9 a.m., perdón, I take a shower, I get dressed, I have breakfast, I exercise, I cook dinner, mm -hmm. I have uh, lunch, um, I, I finish. Ah, okay, finish your day, right? <laughs> Very good. Okay, <laughs> thanks, Lisbeth. Good job. Okay, somebody else. ¿Quién más me faltaba ahí? Who's missing? ¿Quién hacía falta? Maggie? No. Ya, ya. No. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Eh, okay, somebody else. Eric? Eric, sí, parece que. Llegamos, students. Somebody else. Okay, Leida? Did you tell me your daily routine? Okay, I think like I... Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah, sure. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Okay, yes. creo que todos me lo habían dicho. Solo hacían falta unos cuantos. Yo falto, teacher, perdón. Ah, okay. Me Go ahead. Hice poquita, pero... Oh, no problem. The most important part is to practice, right? Good. Go ahead. Okay. I take a shower at 6 a.m. Okay. I have my breakfast at 8 a.m. Yes. I have lunch at 12 p.m. Very good. I start work at 8 a.m. Okay, very nice. Congratulations. Really good job. Okay, students, I hope everybody finished this activity and we are going to uh, continue with today's class. Let's see. Uh, we have uh, today's topic. We are going to continue with module number two. The topics for today's class will be Casa y apartamentos. Okay. Um, Casa y apartamentos. apartamentos Casa right? y apartamentos. Preguntas simples de sí y no. Presente simple y no question. Preguntas. Questions. Very good. Nice. And basically, students, we're going to uh, talk about vocabulary about houses and apartments, right? And uh, we're going to be able to uh make simple present yes no questions se recuerdan de las preguntitas cortitas short questions okay yes. uh -huh. okay yes. students, we're gonna make a feedback about it let's start with this we got the lesson objectives somebody who helped me to read it this one by the end of the class you will learn vocabulary talking about place in house in a park. Okay, very good. Thank you, Jocelyn. Okay, somebody else? By the end of this class, you will learn how to respond uh, to yes, to yes, no question in the simple present. Yeah. Additionally, you will practice a conversation about an apartment which illustrator illustrated how is how this topic is used in a real life setting settings very good nice thank you Saul. good job okay students basically today class we're gonna get 
a vocabulary for talking about places, house and apartment, right? And, and the other uh, objective that we have is that you're going to be able to respond yes, no question, right? In a simple present tense. Very good. Está bastante fácil los objetivos, así que uh, creo que sí. We're going to get it. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Okay, students, continue with this. We got some useful sentences. In this case, uh, we got this. <clears throat> uh, somebody who helped me to read this one? Second floor. Second floor, very good. What is second floor? Segunda planta. Segunda planta, very good. Pero no la planta ahí, que, que no está. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to talk about houses. Okay, what about this one? First floor. First floor. What is this? Okay, yeah, very good. Primera planta. Good job. Good evening. We got a house. Good evening. Second floor. Good evening. Okay. Second and first floor. Lobby. Okay, what is that? Como área de recepción o lo primero de la casa, quizás. Algo así. Okay, very good. Nice. Es un área de descanso. Es un área de descanso de recepción. We got the, this is like a living room, but in this case, it's a house or it is an apartment. House. House? There is an apartment. An apartment. An apartment. Okay. An apartment. Mm -hmm. When we live in an apartment, uh, we're going to have a lobby, right? Cuando vivimos en un apartamento, yeah. we're going to have a lobby, es a building, right? Un edificio de mucha plata. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bien, y nosotros yes. vivimos en un, in a room, right? Okay, very good, students. Uh, keep in mind this. First floor, primera planta. Second floor. First floor. <laughs> okay, floor. First floor. First floor. First floor. Second floor. Second floor. Second floor. Second floor. Second floor. That's a piece of cake. That's very facile. And this is the lobby, right? Because they don't know what we call it. Lobby. 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 <laughs> okay, that's good. Okay, continue with this. And we're going to start with this. Because it's really important to you know, get a feedback about half and has. What is half and has? What does it mean in Spanish? Has, tener. Tener. Very nice, tener. Uh, if you notice this, uh, you have to learn and know the personal pronouns. I, he, she, it, you, we, and they. If you want to conjugate in a right way, these two uh, verbs, right? The first one, we're going to use it, have, with I and with the plural pronouns. And has, we're gonna use for? Third person only. Right? Yeah, very good. She, he, and it. In this case, remember and keep in mind, que yo puedo decir, Maria tiene. Maria es he or es she? She. She. Very good. Mary has, a house, right? Oh, well, here she has a house. Yes? Okay. Let's comment this because sometimes if we're going to use the name, nos tendemos a dudar. Could it? Just say it, right? Solo díganlo. Release your information that comes to your mind. Suelta la información que le viene a la mente. Acá estamos para aprender. Okay, continue with this. Okay, students, we got a house, an apartment. We got a house, the first floor. We got a this. We got a dining room. Dining room. Dining. Dining room. Yes, dining room. Dining room. We get kitchen. 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 Living room. Laundry room. Laundry room. Laundry room. Laundry room. Laundry room. Laundry room. Stairs. 
Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Okay, very good. Just as a tip, when we see a word that starts with a less, no vamos a poner un mm -hmm. es. Okay, uh, we're gonna say just el sonido así de un solo, la S. No vamos a poner la E. Por ejemplo, en this case, stayer. No decimos stayer, sino stayer. 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 Stay here. Stay here. Then we got the second floor. Bathroom. Teacher, I have a Bedroom. question. Yeah, tell me the question. Uh, what is the definition for is air stars? A stars? Uh, stay here. Stay here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that, that's an easy one. Is that? Yes. Yeah, yeah, very good. Nice. Good okay, job. thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Good. Uh, continue with the second floor. We got a bedroom. 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 Bathroom. 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 Very good. Thank Bathroom. you. We have again. Stay here. Stay here. Okay, this is a closet. This is a hall. What, what is hall? Uh, pasillo. 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 Very good. This is a pasillo. Nice. Good job. Okay, and we have the garage. 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 Oh, what is that? Cochera. Cochera. Very good. Que nosotros a nivel salvadoreño, right? Muy chistoso. Garage. Garage. Very good. Okay, nice. Good job, students. Then we have something really important here. It, that is a? Jar. A jar, right? ¿A quién no le gusta tener un yard en mi casa? Es una muy buena opción, ¿verdad? Ok, yard. 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 Muy bien. Yard. Ok, then we are going to continue learning uh, vocabulary from apartment. 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 Ok, muy bien. Bathroom. 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 Okay. Bathroom. Did you remember the TH sound? TH. Bathroom. 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 Ok. Si ustedes sacan la lengüita, no mucho, un poquito, le va a sonar bien natural. Bathroom. 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 Yeah, very good. Bathroom. Okay. Bathroom. Okay. Bathroom. 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 Okay. Closet. 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 Yeah. This one. Dining room. Dining room. Dining room. Dining room. Very good. Kitchen. Kitchen. Uh, this Living one. room. Living room. Living room. Okay. Elevator. 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 Elevator, right? Uh, this Elevator. One. Lobby. 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 Very good. The lobby is... Ya dijimos la sala de espera. ¿no? Sala de espera, descanso. Yeah, very good. Uh, what, what's the difference that you see between house and an apartment? The tamaño. Ah, yeah, the size, very good. The size, size. Apartment uh, has the lobby. Very good. Thanks, Saul. Yeah. Please. The apartment. An apartment is uh, smaller than how? Yeah, very good. Thanks, Montalvo. Very good. An apartment is smaller than a house. Más chiquito los espacios que una casa. Keep in mind, right? Okay, now students, you have to describe your house, right? Okay, but first, 
I uh, want you to know this vocabulary first, right? Okay, we got a... Uh, tenemos todo este vocabulario. Vamos, we're gonna make a little activity about this. And what we're gonna do is next. Lo que vamos a hacer es lo siguiente. Let's see. Como acá ustedes, chicos, son los expertos, right? Estamos aprendiendo entre todos. Así que yo se lo voy a decir en español. Un término y ustedes me lo dicen en inglés, right? Ok, we're gonna start. Eh, pasillo. How do you say pasillo in English? On. On fire. Ok, good. Nice. Ok, let me see. Fire, fire. Oh, good. Ok, continue. Um, how do you say baño in English? Baño. Bathroom. 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 Yeah, very good. Bathroom. Okay. Bathroom. Bathroom. Okay, cool. How do you say escaleras? Stairs. 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 Okay, very nice. Good job, students. Let's see. Eh, okay. ¿Cómo dicen saguán? Ok, vamos a ver cómo decimos el... ah, la última, la última. Eh, en la lavandería, la lavandería. Ok, nice. Ok, students. Good job. Uh, basically, the difference between house is the size, right? This is a bigger than this one. It's bigger. The house is bigger than an apartment. Chair, the chair. Yeah. I have a question. Uh, bathroom is a baño, a house, apartment. A baño, a baño de restaurant. Ah, that's a restroom. 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 Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, students. Uh, let's continue with this. Remember that if you want to describe your house, what you have to do or say is this one. Okay, in my house, I have uh, uh, one bedroom, two bedroom, or oh, los 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 uh, que tengan. Muy bien. But in this case, if you're gonna talk about the basically de una parte de la casa, vamos a usar has, ¿sí? Like this. For example, si nosotros decimos que el baño tiene una ventana. Which one we are going to use? Have or has? It has. The bathroom has yeah, a right. window. Yeah, good job. Okay, that's good. Okay, can you describe your house, students? Yes. Yes? Okay. Yes. Okay, let me see. We're going to practice. I want to hear what you have in your houses. Vamos a practicar, a ver si es verdad. <laughs> ah, es broma. Ok, veamos, students. Eh, we got these basic um, questions about our house or an apartment. Eh, for example, what rooms are in your house? Are in your house. What rooms are in your house? ¿Qué nos quiere decir esta pregunta? ¿Cuántos, ¿Cuántos dormitorios hay en tu casa? Ok, very good. Y ahí ustedes dicen, ah, I have two bedrooms, o si quieren decir rooms, de un solo. Ok, very good. Eh, continue with this one. Who wants to read it? What room are in your house? Houses in your country. Okay. 
Quizás quizá de entender como, o sea, si la primera es como eh, cuántos cuartos hay en tu casa, como, como cuántos cuartos hay en, en, en tu país, ¿verdad? O sea, regularmente. Es como cuántas casas hay en, en tu ciudad o país. Ok, ok, more or less, good job. Ok, so I got the idea, right? Aquí en este caso es como eh, en tu país, ¿cuántos cuartos tienen las casas? Por lo general. Es uh -huh. por Ahí nosotros sabemos, ah, in our country, most of the houses has, you know, two or three rooms, right? Ok, very good. Eh, what rooms are in an apartment in your country. ¿Cuántos cuartos hay en tu apartamento? No, en los apartamentos de tu ciudad. En el apartamento. ¿Cuántos cuartos hay? Ajá, ¿Cuántos cuartos hay normalmente? Hay en el... Tú. Yeah, very good. Three, three, three rooms. Yeah, por ahí más o menos. Okay, very good. Possible answer that you can you can uh, say when somebody asks for this question is, okay, my house has, y comienzan a describir, right? Uh, in, or if you want to say, I have in my house, yo tengo en mi casa tal y tal cosa, un baño, dos cuartos, eh, un filular y por ahí, right? Yes. Teacher, yes. eh, yes. y, 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 y yo, yo puedo responder por in my house there are. Yeah, very good. You can answer in that way too. Si ya pueden utilizar there is y there are, you can do it. Pero para los que todavía no lo hemos visto, has o have. ¿Sí? Ok, very good. Ok, students, uh, let me see. We're going to practice. Can you describe your house? Right? Okay. Uh, who wants to describe your house? Así, cortito, rapidito. Just for practicing. Okay. Me, teacher. Yeah, go ahead, Carla. Um, my house has yes. a garage, two yards, two living room, two kitchen. A dining room, six bedroom, two stairs, and five bedroom. Bathroom, perdón. Okay, very good. That's a big house. Why? Thanks. Very good, Carla. Good job. Okay. Uh, somebody else, student? Me. Yeah, go ahead, Jocelyn. Okay, if, uh, my house. My house has two bedroom, a bathroom, a yes. living room, and a backyard. Okay, very nice. Good job. Thanks, Jocelyn. Very good job. Okay, somebody else? Okay, Saba. In my house, there are four bedrooms. No, rooms, and I have one uh, living room, yeah. uh, one bathroom, three bedroom, and I have one kitchen. Okay, very nice. Thank you. Very good job. Okay, students, somebody else. One more. Yeah, teacher. Yeah, go ahead and respect. Um, in my house, as there a two bedroom, a two bathroom, one living room, one kitchen, a one laundry room, and and finish. Okay, very good. Thank you. Really good job. Thanks, Elizabeth. <laughs> okay, congratulations, students. And that's okay. what we want, right? To practice this. Okay. Uh, Algo más? Yo, teacher. Right. Okay, go ahead, Nelly. Okay, my, my house has three bedrooms, okay. a garage, and 
two bathroom and a back uh, yeah. Okay, very nice. Good job. Thanks, Nelly. Good job. Now I'm going to finish this activity with Lisa. <laughs> Uh, my house has a bedroom, a bathroom, a dining room, and a living room. Okay, thank you, Eliseo. Villa. Okay, Lina, do you want to describe your house? Okay. My house has two bedrooms, yeah. one living room, one kitchen, and one bathroom. Okay. Okay, very nice. Thank you so much. Good job. Really good job, students. Okay. Uh, somebody else? Veo que ya los emocionamos, así que eso es lo que queremos. Eh? Practice English. Me, right? teacher. Yeah, go ahead, Elise. Okay, in my house has five bedrooms, yeah. a, a kitchen, one garage, uh, a garden, a, a living room, e, and two bathrooms. Okay, very nice, good job, it is. Thank you. Okay, somebody else? My teacher, I... Okay, I have teacher. I... Yeah, go ahead, In my house has three bedrooms, one kitchen, and stairs, um, a bathroom, a living room, a garden. Okay, very nice. Thank you, very good job, Maggie. Nice. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. My teacher. Okay, go ahead. So, uh, my house has uh, two bedroom, two bathroom, uh, one laundry, uh, one yard. Okay, very good. Thanks, Saul. Good job. Pretty good job. Okay. Okay, students, uh, may I continue? Okay, I have to continue, right? Okay, let's see. Basically, in this part, we have to describe our house or an apartment. Nadie de los que estamos acá vive en un apartamento, right? O sí. No. No, me, me. No, no. Oh, really? Oh, Ooh, Eliseo. Yeah. Really? Yeah, teacher. Ah, can you Thank you. Can you describe your apartment? Uh, okay. Uh, my apartment is there is a, a garage, one garage. Yeah. Uh, there are three bedrooms okay. and three bedroom, a bathroom, three. Yeah. Um Laundry, I don't remember. <laughs> Laundry, um, it's second, uh, second floor, uh, two bedroom. Okay, very nice. Good job. Good job. Okay, student, as you see, uh, houses in an apartment are similar, right? Okay, very good job. Okay, students, continue with this. We get uh, these questions. What rooms are in your house? Ya lo dijimos. Cuantos cuartos? Tres, dos, one, two, three, four, and so on, right? Then we have uh, what's the average that we have in our country? Uh, two, two or three. Or three. More or less three. Yeah, very good. Okay, and the apartment, the same, right? Okay. Two. Two. We one, okay. one. Okay, nice. Okay, uh, continue. Can you tell me this verb? Play football. Play football. Okay. Very good. Play soccer. Play soccer. Very good. Play soccer. That's the verb, right? 
okay, with this verb, we can give out sentences, right? The kid is playing soccer, you know, the kids play soccer with a friend, and so on. Con ese verbo podemos crear muchas oraciones. Okay, muy bien. But in this case, uh, we get this, we get the short answer. Why I show you this picture? Because what I want you to know is the short answer. Yes or no answer, right? Las, pre las respuestas cortas. ¿Cómo responder a esto? Okay, very good. Here we go. Remember that we're gonna use do or does. Do, yeah. do or does. <coughs> does. 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 Uh, all this time we are going to use it with the verbs. Very nice. And when we ask a question all the time, this auxiliary do or does is at the beginning. Está al principio de la pregunta. Ok. Esto es más simple de lo que parece. Es decir, si a usted le pregunta con do y no quiere dar una explicación larga, Usted va a contestar con do, si es positivo, y con don't, si es negativo. Very good. If somebody asks you with does, you're going to answer does or does. 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 Very good. How come? Veamos cómo es esto. It's a question. Yeah, it's a question. Do I play? Okay. I... Esta la vamos a sacar. Es raro que nos preguntemos a nosotros mismos. Okay. Uh, yes, yes. Ok, let's see this. Uh, do you play? Do you play? Si yo le pregunto uh, esto a, uh, por ejemplo, Eliseo Ventura, do you play soccer, por ejemplo? I don't understand. Ok, Eliseo Ventura, uh, do you play soccer? No, you don't. Okay, no, I don't. You don't. Ah, no, I don't. Le estoy preguntando directamente, dice. Muy bien. Yes, I mean, yes. Okay, bring it. No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay, él no puede. El liceo jugaba a hacer fútbol. Él respondía así, yes. I do. Yes, I don't. Yes, I don't. What is the magic word here? ¿Cuál es la palabra mágica acá? Si a ustedes le preguntan con do, ustedes responden con do, no con das. Ok, si a ustedes le preguntan con das, obviously, it's referring to the third person. Se está refiriendo obviamente a una tercera persona. Entonces, en este caso, si yo le pregunto, por ejemplo, a Nelly, Nelly, das el das, uh, let me see, does Lisbeth play uh, soccer? Does Lisbeth play soccer? Yes, she does. Okay. Or, or no, she doesn't. Or no, she doesn't. Very good. You see? Mm -hmm. No tan que fácil, ¿verdad? ¿vale? Si se le pregunta con das, vamos a responder con das o con das. Si es afirmativo o negativo. En este caso, we're going to use short answer when we don't want to give an uh, extra information. Right? Cuando no queramos dar una información extra. But remember that in our country, when we ask something, uh, the person uh, most of the time tell us a big, 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 really big story, right? Cuando preguntamos a alguien, a una, algo, a una persona acá en nuestro país hermoso, la persona nos cuenta una gran historia. En este caso, en inglés, es al revés, en inglés, hacemos cosas más okay. pequeñas. En español, no, right? Nosotros acá nos llevamos bien y nos contamos y nos saltamos otra historia y por ahí. But in this case, we're going to use short answer. Okay, another example here. Okay, let me see. Um, let's see. Who wants to help me to read this one? Okay. 
Me, teacher. Yeah, go ahead, Carla. Do we play? Yeah. Do we play? Mm -hmm. Yes. We yes, we do, or no, we don't. Yeah, very good. Yes, we do, right? Si es, si nosotros jugamos cualquier deporte, obviamente jugamos aunque sea así ajedrez o algo uh, básico. Entonces, yes, we do. Nos incluimos. Ok, students. Eh, ¿Está claro esto? ¿Es claro? Yes. Yes. Ok, very good. That short answer, right? Ok, students. Uh, you have to answer this simple, present, short answer. And we have the first one here. Do you live in an apartment? What does it mean, live? Live. 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 Uh, remember the pronunciation of these sounds? Of the, uh, live. Live. Right. Live. 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 Do you live in an apartment? For example, uh, Maggie, do you live in an apartment? No, I don't. Very nice. Good job. Okay, continue with this. A bathroom, right? What is bedroom? Dormitory. Yeah. Very good. Okay, uh, Mary, do the bedrooms have windows? Tiene mm. ventanas la habitación. Yeah, yeah. Permítame. Ahorita. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, I do. Perdón, es que mi teléfono se me ha quebrado y me cuesta ver. <laughs> uh, no ok, veamos acá. En este caso, we are talking about bedrooms. Bedrooms, right? Estamos hablando de los... Cuartos. 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 Plural, very good. Yeah. Recuerden que les dije que cuando íbamos a hablar de cosas y eran plurales, íbamos a utilizar también. Day. Day. Aquí se cumple lo que le Ok, let's get it. Entonces, acá nos estamos refiriendo a varios cuartos. Eh, en este caso, eh, Mary, digamos que su casa tiene two bedrooms, right? Entonces, mi pregunta es, do the bedrooms have windows? Yes, yes, they do. Yeah. Okay. Yes, they do. Okay, congratulations. Really good job. Thanks. Good job. Okay, continue with this. Ah, esta se entiende, right? The second question. Vamos a hablar. Yes, yes, yes. yes. No, it. Si acá no tuviese esta S, singular. Aquí dijera yes. Bedroom. Yes. 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 It do. It do. Yes, it do. Yes, it does. It does. It does. Okay. 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 Continue with this. These are uh, questions. Okay. We have this. Does Chris live in a house? Does Chris live in a Chris vive en la casa. Yeah, very good. What, what's the answer? Yes, he does. Or no, he doesn't. Okay, very good. In this case, uh, I'm going to ask you to Jocelyn. Jocelyn, does, does Saul live in a house? Yes, he, yes, he does. Yes. No, he doesn't. <laughs> Yeah, no, he doesn't. You don't know. Okay, very good. Good job. Thank you. Good job. Okay, and then we have the last one. We got a jar. What is jar? Jar. Jardin. Jardin. Yeah. Okay, students. Uh, okay, let me see. Eric, does the house have a jar? Yes, he does. Okay, okay. We are talking about house, Eric. House. 
Thank you, Eric. Okay, good job. Okay, student, but you see something different here? We have has. Tenemos aquí have instead of has. Why do we have have here? ¿Por qué tenemos have? Porque está el auxiliar das. Ah, yeah. Thank you, Jocelyn, because we have das as an auxiliary already. Ya tenemos das como auxiliar y ya ocupa la regla de la S o la S, tercera persona. Ok, very good. Nice job. Ok, students, basically, uh, in this case, we can form, um, you know, this, uh, you have to know the pronouns. Si ustedes se saben los pronombres, va a ser sumamente fácil responderse todas estas preguntas. Right? Básicamente, do or don't, para todos los que no sean third person. Right? Y para las third person, does or doesn't. Ok, very good. Uh, everything is clear? Yes. Clear. Okay, do you have a question so far? No. No, okay, very good. Okay, students, continue with this. We got a conversation. My new apartment. Okay, we're gonna put into practice right the knowledge that we already have. Ok, vamos a poner en práctica el conocimiento que ya aprendí. Ok, very good. Who wants to practice this uh, conversation? I need a lady and a gentleman. Ok, it's regiment. Yo, teacher. Ok, Nelly. Hey, teacher. Ok, go ahead. Good. I'm Linda. Good, Sanchez. Chris. Ah, uh, Chris. Okay, Chris. Ellie, you're going to be Linda. Let's start. Okay. Go ahead. Guess what? Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What is it like? It's really beautiful. It's well, very big. Well, it's a big living room. A small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. That is it. Oh, that is it. Oh, on Lake View Drive. Oh, nice. Does does it have you? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Okay, you did it really, really good, students. Okay. Thank you. Um, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Teacher, what is the pronunciation on like, like view? Like, uh, uh, which one? Like Linda. Like Linda. The pronunciation? Like view. Uh, no. Al final, donde dice, donde le pregunta que dónde es. Ah, oh, nice. Antes. Arriba, no, la, la, vista, arriba, arriba. Vista al lado, vista al lado. Like you drive. Like you no. drive. Okay, Lake Lake you drive. Como Lake. terraza. Yeah, Lake you drive. Lake you drive. Lake you drive. Lake you drive. Lake View Drive. Lake View Drive. Lake View Drive. Lake View Drive. Okay, Lake View Drive. It's clear? It is? Lake View Drive. 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 Okay. Lake View Drive. Hold on, my students. Okay, please repeat. Lake View. Listen first. Lake View. Lake View. Lake View. Lake View. Lake View. Lake View. Okay, Okay, okay. you're welcome. Uh, do you have another question about these words or a word that you don't understand? Questions? <clears throat> no questions. Okay. 
Uh, let's get uh, let's get started with another couple, right? Otra parejita más. Vamos, go ahead. Who wants to participate? Right. Yeah. Me. 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 Yo, teacher. Okay, Eliseo and Lisbeth. Okay. Go ahead. Uh. Lisbeth will be Linda and Eliseo Christ. Okay. Uh, where's what I have a new apartment? That's great. What is it like? It's really beautiful. Is it is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. What is it? Or lay you dry, or lay you dry. Oh, nice. That is hey, a view. Yes, I, I do. I does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Okay, okay, very nice. Teacher, yeah. Teacher, me. Yeah. Teacher, me. It is. Okay. Okay, very good. It is, and somebody else. You me. Okay, so go ahead. It is, you will be Linda and Saul Chris. Go ahead. Okay, where's what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lake View. <laughs> Right. Okay, okay, very good. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Okay, very nice. Good job, students. Okay, thank you, students. Okay, now uh, let's repeat this word. Guess. 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 Okay. Guess what is an expression? Guess what? Guess what? Guess, Guess what? what? Guess what? What? Guess what? <coughs> okay, what does it mean? Guess what? Guess what? Adivina que. Adivina. Adivina que. Adivina, Adivina que. Guess what? Eh, this word apartment. Tengo un nuevo apartamento. Yeah, very good. Yeah, tell me the question. It is. Es grandioso. Eh, es grandioso que es como. Ajá, es grandioso le dice. Está genial. Yeah. Uh -huh. What? What is like? Um, ¿Qué te gusta? No. ¿Te gusta? ¿Cómo es? ¿Te gusta? Ajá, como es. Si como es. Como es. That's right. Ajá. Well, like, como es. Como es. Porque ella le dice, es, es muy hermoso. Que, es muy hermoso. Y que usted nos enseñó, teacher, que eh, cuando era una pregunta y estaba al final de la, de la cuestión, eso significa cómo. Como, muy bien. Ya no es pero sino una pregunta. Como. Uh, it's like yeah. okay that's good uh, then students uh, let me see building 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 construction building edificio 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 building building Yeah. Building. Yes. Building. Okay, very good. Okay, students, uh, let me see. Here. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, let me check something. Okay, students, uh, did you work on the platform? Yes or not? What, teacher? Oh, I don't. Yes, teacher. 
Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let me see as two letters. Um, okay. Uh, this is the paragraph, right? This is section one. What we saw the last week. Esto fue lo que vimos la semana pasada. Así lo tienen que tener ustedes con estos chequecitos. Right? Right. Con todos los knowledge. Right. Ya terminó. Muy bien. Eh, algunos, como Saúl Ardón, Populations, y algunos más, ya han avanzado con la Section 2, right? Right. Ustedes notan, vamos yeah. por 2.1, eh, 2.3. You have to do this one, knowledge share, right? At the end of this week, you have to complete all of the Section 2, right? Okay, students, eh, as you see, lo que hacemos en la clase, en nuestra clase, es para ustedes, es eh, extra information, and this platform is for you, right? You can practice eh, as many times as you can. Eh, what else you can do there? You can practice when you have time and watch some videos. Y así pueden profundizar en su conocimiento. If you have a question, you can ask me through WhatsApp. Mm. Eh, mm. We have a group on WhatsApp. Tenemos un grupo en WhatsApp. Ahí pueden preguntarme. O oh, ahí si les da pena, pregúntenme como ustedes deseen. I'm going to be there in order to help you, right? Yes? ¿Cuál es, yes. ¿cuál es, cuál es el grupo de WhatsApp, teacher? Maggie. Ok, Maggie, uh, we have a WhatsApp group. Se lo, se lo Teacher, what is your phone number? Okay, uh, okay, I'm gonna write my phone number on the chat, right? And Can you text in your group? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna text on WhatsApp group, right? Voy a mandarles un mensaje en el WhatsApp, en el grupo de WhatsApp. En el caso de Maggie, you can look on your email. Pueden buscar en el email que tiene. Ahí pueden, ahí está un enlace para que se unan al grupo, right? Right. Oh, I don't know if you have questions. No. Questions? No. No. Students, no. if you don't have questions, unfortunately, time is over, right? Uh, that's it for today's class. It's a pleasure to see you and take care. See you tomorrow. Thank you, Thank, you Thank, Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank 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 you. Thank